Good Sorry. morning. Good morning. How are we? Working on it. Oh, stop it. Oh, no, it's just my son's been sick this morning and all last night, so. Yeah, I get it. I had it over the weekend, and I thought I was through, and no. <laughs> so I get it. It kinda, happens. Kind of lingering. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those um, lingering things. Definitely a lingerer. We can, we can call it that. Exactly. How was your evening? Uh, good. Got a lot done. I'm actually really excited about this training I'm doing um, down in Houston this weekend. Uh, it's actually part of woke up in the middle of the night and it's like all of a sudden this I'm doing two two different presentations, one on perseverance and fighting through. Mm -hmm. uh, and then another one on actual you know, sales, hit the street running kind of stuff, you know, things that they can learn right then and there and put into action immediately. Nice. And yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to be a blast. It's awesome. Uh, really excited about it. But w what happens, you know, like the sales thing, I, I knew exactly what I was going to do because I kind of know what they need, you know, blah, blah, blah. One of those kind of things. Um, as I eat my protein bar. Yummy. When and, I am. Um... And so, but in the middle, uh, you know, so I've been thinking through the perseverance piece. Um. Uh, you know, the, the theoretical, not theoretical, but the kind of the book learning side versus the, um, practical side. Ah, uh, that's you know, true. And so I've been thinking it through, you know, what is, and all of a sudden I just had these flashes of particular events in my life. And while the talk is not about me, the point is I've gone through a lot of stuff and, um, and none of it's, uh, not none of it. Some of it is not s such great stuff. But what did you have to do? You had to persevere through all of it, right? Pretty so, much. So all of a sudden at uh, 2.30, there's the outline. <laughs> it, it just became, you know, it's, it's one of those where in the middle of the night, all of a sudden you wake up and you just see the order of events and the order of stories and how to how to share one story to the next and how it how they all build off of each other and um, so as a as a speaker or as a trainer that's it's not unusual that a presentation would come to me in that way you know it's kind of what happens you think about it you think about it you think about it you even play with it a little bit and then all of a sudden it's like boom. And so literally one of the situations was uh, that I had researched yesterday was an event where I completely uh, severed my Achilles tendon. Uh, Ooh, that's yeah. painful just to hear you say. Well, I completely severed the Achilles. I broke the bone behind it. I pretty much destroyed a lot of different stuff. Uh, while I was playing Big Ten football. And so as I went back and researched it, I found myself mentioned in Sports Illustrated how I had almost given up the, the game and, <laughs> you know, what a devastating... I don't want to make Sports Illustrated. Not exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like... Well, the good news is I was in Sports Illustrated. The bad news is not exactly the way that I wanted to be there, right? And so, right, the, not there, right? you know, and so what that did is it led me into, uh, you know, it just leads you into the whole thought process of it all. 
but but literally in that situation so again it's not you know it was obviously not a great situation but here's the bottom line they told me i'd never walk right again i'd never play sports again uh i would probably never walk without a limp oh wow um you know da 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 da, da. and the it, it, and literally less than uh, the event happened September 17th and I was um, back in back in training in December oh wow from a completely severed Achilles tendon and and I had I had four NFL tryouts afterwards. I came back and played. I've won 10 racquetball championships. So again, that it's not about the, um, not trying to say, isn't this amazing what I accomplished? It was the, I was told you'll never play sports again. You'll never walk it right again, whatever. To this day, my right calf is probably an inch to an inch and a half smaller than my left calf. And that's 40 years wow. later, 40 years later. Think about it. So again, I think it fits in the perseverance story, <laughs> but that's what I think you can make it there. Well, but that's what I'm saying is that kind of stuff then shows up in the, as you're prepping for these events and when it shows up, who knows, you know, it just so happened it showed up in the middle of the night. So I got up, wrote it down, went back to bed. <laughs> nice. Nice. So time to build funnels on what to it do when you, when you completely sever your Achilles. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Kidding. kidding. Um, one of the ones I was looking at was I find that people are really struggling at the point of driving traffic. They've got Stop the Stop it. This isn't about me. You and everyone else, right? Well, I um, think that's everybody's thing. Actually. So I got the, um, we reviewed UTM IO off AppSumo and have been playing around with it. And again, the nice thing about having a customer value journey is you can start to see what's working and what's not working. Right. And so started to set it up and I don't have my naming conventions but now that I'm looking at it down perfect. Um, I'd like to get them where they're like super consistent every single time so that you can get the most value of your information. Right. Um, it looks like I started out really good and then I got a little sloppy. Um, so I wish that was one thing UTM would fix, but something like here's the traffic and I mean, then I, again, UTM code, you can start to track it, but you can also just track it on the fact that your link shortener was clicked, right? So like this one got 57 and this one got one, five, seven, two, three, eighteen. Now obviously those should be considered, you know, what size audience am I sending that to, right? How right. many times what am I sending that link out? Right. Um, but obviously, like this one right here was when we were reviewing UTM IO. And it was an AppSumo review. And I already know this about YouTube. Like I should be in theory reviewing AppSumo deals all the time. I just look at some of them and I'm like, I don't even care. Like I already know it's bad just looking at it. Um, but they do really well as far as getting clicks. So if, as far as awareness goes, if you can take something from in this case an AppSumo review and make sure that you can try something to get people to the next stage, even if that's just subscribed to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna put other stuff there, um, this is obviously some place that you want to stick to. Now, some of them, like, um, like this was the YouTube, and it was like down on the side, so I could see people not getting it there. Um, let's see, Meetup. This one was more just a matter. So these are very similar. This was the last week's versus this week's. Um, did I focus on actually putting it out there to as many people as I should? Right. I can tell you right now this number says that answer is no. No. Because this was a week's worth of work that I probably didn't do. I know I didn't do. And right. this was about five hours last night running on in the background. Not even five hours. My computer tends to shut. This is about 100 people 
being notified of an event on on LinkedIn. Right. So and then you could even. Um, da, 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 da. So Jeremy just asked a good question. Oh, okay. um, the top, the top uh, comment. Digressing a little bit. Is it just me or is dot io becoming the new go to TLD? Um, I think it really comes down to there's only so many dot coms. Um, dot io, you know, is very well known in the application world. So it by saying dot io, you're already telling everyone we're an application. Um, it's short, and there's still a lot of names left. So if you try to go get .com, which apparently Infusion Shop, Infusion Shop, Infusionsoft just did, they found a four-letter available .com by misspelling a word and completely renaming their platform. But that's actually not common. So they were actually able to get the word UTM by going to IO. So I don't necessarily think it's the new go-to one. I think it's just there's a lot of them. I'm dot marketing. Right. Um, business growth network is dot org. Um, I even saw dot cruise. I was really well, tempted to go by marketing dot cruise. Well, you can get dot club. You can oh, you know because guru, we dot guru dot guru. Um, yeah. Back over here. So if I go <coughs> over here to create a link, can you see it? Oh, here it is. So here's my link. So after I did the review for UTM, I actually went and bought my own short domain, bgn.tips. So it really just is how can I get a three-letter domain? <laughs> and you just can't do that with .com. Like I remember back in the day when people were rushing and they were just buying up domains. Right. Like walmart.com and squatting on them. Right. And then trying to sell them, like holding them hostage. Well, there's still a lot of that out there, actually. Um, but definitely a good question, Jeremy. And um, that's one of those. And everyone asks, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. The part that matters is you build something on it, that it's relevant to search engine optimization. So in that regard, that this part before .io is relevant to the keywords you want to be known by, or in the case of, um, what would be a good example? Um, Infusionsoft actually is a fairly good example. They've changed their name to Keep, except it's K-E-A-P. There's nothing you know, SEO friendly about a random name, but if you actively build a campaign around it to point you know, people to that new direction, that's what it's gonna take. It just needs to be you. Yeah. And you just have to drive traffic to it, kind of like right back to that conversation. If you don't drive traffic, you're not building search engine optimization, you're not educating, if you're not doing social media, if you're not doing these things, then none of it matters, and it's just a, it's just a poster hiding in your closet. I think that kind of just sums it up. It's a poster you toss in your closet, and you're never going to see again until you dig it out in 20 years. Well, it's interesting. Sorry, I just clicked because I went into... I went into my Kyvio account or Archivio account and just taking a look at what the, um, you know, where we're clicking, where we're getting traffic. Um, and we can definitely use more. <laughs> I mean, it's our own. It's always our own fault. I mean, it, it's parts of it are intriguing because there are clicks into pages that, why is it, it's so weird. You know, there are clicks into pages that there's like virtually no promotion to. And then there's um, the ones that you would think. Well, some of it is me working on it. Yeah, well, but you're not working on it 234 times. Hmm. Are you working on it that often? Not that one. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's very, it's intriguing. Um, 
no, I mean, it really is intriguing where the clicks are coming, you know, and, um, And part of it is is obviously we've been um, we've been playing around with getting copyright and, and a little bit of testing and a little bit of this and a little bit of that as well. So um, you know, part of it is us in in our activity and what we're doing with it, right? Mm -hmm. But um, it really is all of it's fascinating. It's fun stuff. Let's see if I can go back over here to Kyvio. I'll go back to the book funnel and see what we are missing for that one. I think we wrapped it up pretty well. Subscription, convert to membership. It is a really easy funnel. It is not a hard funnel. That was it. Three pages yeah. for book funnel. And even his thank you page. I mean, he really didn't say thank you, so I'm not thrilled with that part, but he could say it in the video. Right. But I mean, that he doesn't have to build any other pages. He doesn't even have to replicate his entry point offer page to say thank you, or he could. Um, but ultimately, that's, that's it. And then the, the rest is just redirect. So... I was thinking maybe we just go into active campaign. Let me get into my actual account. And do, 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 do. what am I looking for? Oh, my campaign account. Like my camera must be shaking every time I type. It's like all jigging a little around. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find book info here. What do you mean book info? Well, just stuff that I've already done. Um, don't, you ever, don't you ever have that where you, you know, you've already done this and so you don't want to redone this, you know? Don't want to redone it. And then you can't find it? Can't I know find I'm, it. I know I'm the only person who's ever done that. Absolutely. Subscribes to a list. Uh, we're just going to pick one. Make sure it's turned off because I don't want people getting strangeness inactive. Um, actually, I want to do a little condition, a little wait. I noticed he waited probably five to ten minutes before sending an email out. That was the first thing I noticed. No, um, tremendously I long wait, but a wait. Just, just enough, right? Yeah. Let me go in the back end here of Business Growth Network because I started documenting his emails and I've already deleted those emails. Um, I believe the ones that I documented, though, were all... Um, transactional. Now, are you familiar with the difference between like the transactional emails and all the other ones? Uh, somewhat, but share it with everybody so they understand. Transactional is going to be ones that because they've purchased, they're getting an email. In fact, Kyvio does all the transactional emails. Even if you have active campaign, the purchase ones are still done by Kyvio. Here we go. I went through and I was trying to organize all of our stuff because I'm going to start working on launching it and give it to some of the affiliate marketers. So give me an incentive to make sure all everything's done for our members. But one of the things I've been doing is tracking down and like we did with Garrett's um, documenting that funnel. Go ahead and make this um, so the people can see it. All right, Wake Up Warrior. We have the Facebook ad. 
free shipping page. Okay. Head. Transactional emails. Did I not? Did you not put them in, in under that header? Well, I'm thinking I put them in. Oops, let me see. There's at least one of them. Which one was that? All right, so this was the second one. So here's this one. And then I've got the text so you can, oh, oh wait, I already had it. It was just down below. It would hide. It was hiding under all those words. All right, so there's that one. But I have the text separate as well. And then I believe I had another one. Did I not screenshot that one already? I mean, I thought you fired on all of them, but that's me. <laughs> Let me, this would be under desktop. Problem is I have so many screenshots. Right. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I just made that upload. I don't even think that's it. I think it's a white dot where I screwed up the screenshot. <laughs> Have you ever taken a screenshot and you get like three pixels? Yes, it's a very small screen. <laughs> that is not uncommon for me to like mess it up or something. I think maybe this one. My son is home because he's been puking. I can hear his movie. He's homesick. Uh, I can hear him. Playing Never in the air, walking at the other room. Oh, here we go. That was the one I was looking for. Perfect. I knew you'd find it. That was actually the excite. And then the transactional. Okay, I need this to move here. There we go. This was trying to separate everything. Excite. I want to take pictures of it all. Um so I didn't get the words here, but this is a very good example of a transactional email. Yeah. This is just the literal receipt that the program sent that I have purchased something. So for this one, this is going to be mostly built. Where that Kyvio still open? Nope. So that's all inside of Active Campaign. So the transactional one is going to be done inside Kyvio. Got so it. if you go, got it in the, mar to, the marketing or nurturing or relational is somewhere else. Yes. Well, that's for me. Who so is it? I mean, Kyvio technically has email marketing over here. So if you really want to skip out on getting active campaign, by all means, it's over there. But even Kaibo acknowledges that it's not good, and even they are transferring to Active Campaign. And they've been sending out for about a week now. But if you'll go over to Smart Memberships, and you will go to Settings, you'll see your transactional emails over here. And so it's really important to make sure these are set up. It's going to be under step number two, Email Settings. And this is just going to be using the built-in SMTP, that's like the post office. Um, use server that will be used to send all transactional emails. Um, you can, of course, use the third-party SMTP server to use the Kybio email. So first, just setting up an email signature. So uh, I can go back over here. Where'd it go? You'll see his signature down here. Right. Um, if you have any questions, visit our support site at you know, support.wakeupwarrior.com forward slash home. Contact us at this email or call. So you're basically making it insanely simple for them to get a hold of you, right? You don't want any issues whatsoever. Um, I actually really love it. I just do our support URL and I should really work on that and make it better. Again, this is one of those <laughs> like every, well, everyone skips over it, right? 
Yeah. It is not the sexy part, right? But right. this is the part where if you want to retain your customers, it's really nice. And they do have um, a support section here as well. So you could actually jump. They have a support desk inside of Kyvio. Um, it is not, again, it's like their email. It's really not supported. But as a base level to get you going, it's there, right? Um, and I think I even in AppSumo bought another one that all I have to do is see name map it to a URL to a um, sort of looking for sub subdomain, and I'll have it too. The other one is going to be your notification email. So the first one, this is going to be when somebody first becomes a member, right? And they have these nice little brackets, just like Active Campaign does, just a little slightly done differently. So hi, and then the member's name is automatically added. Thank you for signing up on our site, already added. Especially if you have multiple sites. Um, sometimes it's just easier to make the site title, but you can type that part out. You know which it belongs to. Right. Um, this is one you don't want to mess with, username and password. So that way you don't ever have to know. You can always just send them an email automatically. Here's your username. Here's your password. That would be a great example of transactional. Click here, automatically done. So even the link, if I can go up here, by the link button, it's done with one of those short codes for member access. So even the link is done automatically. Or simply copy code, or copy code, copy the <laughs> URL below. And I know, man, I just, this is what more happens. Co more coffee. Jeez. In my daughter's, um, Gallon Raven Claw, her Raven Claw Harry Potter mug with intelligence, wisdom, creativity, and originality. And my sister um, was so angry at me that I took the Harry Potter sorting test and I was not Raven Claw. <laughs> yeah, I can. I was Gryffindor, and I was like, because I'm the dumb one that's going to run into battle. Y'all are smart on the edge. She's like, you're smart too. I was like, yeah, but I'm a little dumb. You know, if I knew anything about Harry Potter, I'd respond right now. But you know, <laughs> that's what I know about Harry Potter is the fact that I don't know anything about Harry Potter. Other people know about Harry Potter. I didn't suggest they didn't. I just said I didn't. So I know. Um, this next email that you're going to need to put together this welcome email will be sent to existing members making another purchase. So thank you for signing up as a member on this site. Looks like you're already a member. So this would be if they bought two products. So one of the directions that we're going to go with Business Growth Network is we have always sold it as a monthly membership, $17 a month. So moving forward, I know, A, one of the goals I want to do is I want to bump that price up. Because I feel like when people don't pay that much, they don't get in there and use the material. Right. The well, it, it's a um, it's funny. It's an interesting thought proposition. I mean, when things are when you work to help, you, and we experience this with travel savings passports, right? When we when our price was so efficient that we were trying to help so many people, it's like, well, this can't be any good. Are you freaking kidding me? So we raise the price significantly, and people are, ah, this is awesome. It's funny how that works, right? Well, it, it makes no, you know, on one side it makes sense, but on the other side it's just like, you know, you don't, why, why do you do that to yourself? You know, but again, it's human psychology, so they do. It is. Um, so that's gotta, those are going to be your big three one. Like, have a really great signature because it's going to go at the bottom of everything, and you don't have to add your signature, by the way, down here on these emails. It will be added for you. And then your two emails. So this, like I said, this is going to be where they might sign up again. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is selling one-off. So they might only get the cold email for, like, I don't know, $7, um, $12. We'll play around with the numbers to see what sells well. Um, but then if they buy another one, you know, in case they forgot, because apparently that's a big deal to buy these info products and never actually use them. They just rack them and stack them up. Um, but I want them to use mine, right? So you want a reminder that like, hey, here's your mem username, 
here's the, the link to get in there, and you've already set the password up, and if they don't remember the password, reset it right here. Right. <laughs> Make it easy. Um, confirmation emails, these are gonna be for when people register an account originally. I need them to click this confirmation email, and that's gonna kill, that's gonna cut down on all your spam and make sure your emails are clean. That way random people, especially if you're doing, um, giving away a course as part of a lead magnet, which I've also considered doing for the stuff that's um, more or less all over the internet, we just want people to go through it, or like the vision challenge is a great example. I don't want random emails. I want somebody to have to go click on the confirmation URL, and this also um, shuts down any bots that might be adding emails. Um, see right here, I put sincerely. I can take that right off. You don't like um, sincerely? This, well, no, because my, um, that's what we did up here. Got it, got it, got it. Right here. Okay. Um, forgot password. Sorry, I was though. reading. I was reading Randy's comment. Randy came through and said, "If it sounds too good to be true, it often is. That's how we were trained. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate we're trained that way. Oh, well, it, it it comes back to uh, thinking back through the uh, BGN Insider Business Growth Network Insider. There's, I mean, I'm just looking at at this string of emails. I mean, the, it's so ridiculous." I mean that people aren't jumping all over this. It's like you just want to smack them in the forehead sometimes, right? You know what? Which, if people are not so, there. They're not there. So no, 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 no. I get that. So, well, no, that's where I was ultimately going. That's why people take things out of context. I shouldn't have said that. But the the point is that that if you're ready for this, oh my God, there's no more cost effective or better way to get this information than to become a member of the Business Growth Network. It's because it's it's a repository of really great stuff. Therefore, we need to do a better job of communicating that to the people who do have a desire and a need to do this. That's where I was going with it. No, and um, that's true. And like, not even just online. Like, they come to the now Tuesday meeting and hang out at my office till two or three in the afternoon and. Ask lots of questions that are hard to answer. That's okay. Um, forgot the password email. We've all forgotten our password. Important what? one to have. I know, right? Here's the one, like Garrett sent out, the purchase receipt email. Mine's mm -hmm. incredibly plain. Maybe I should work on that. Well, um, now, you. I will say this. Keeping thank you it for buying plain, my groceries. Why don't you just personalize it? <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. <gasps> Um, I mean, on one side, the plainer it is, the the li more likely that you're gonna skip all the spam filters, right? Um, I mean, this has got like a nice little heading here. It makes it, you know, kind of breaks the line, even though this is one image right here. This is white right here, and you've got like the little um, shield they have, a little gray. So, but it makes it look like it's breaking the image, right? Or or breaking the block, so it's not looking all blocky like. Do, do, do. This one is, right? I mean, this is what it actually looks like. It's a giant block on top of words. Um, right. But you can even tell right here, like if you told me he was using active campaign, I would totally believe you. This totally looks like an active campaign email font, mm -hmm. everything, right? This one is definitely the ClickFunnels one. You know, you've got the different grayed out space here, very transactional, payment method is included. All that stuff, that has to be transactional, that has to be done through your payment one. So you're gonna class one up, it's gonna be this one, right? Um, right. I'm not, I've never tried to do pictures and Kaibio, and I don't think, I'm not even sure they support images. There's an image up on top, right there in the middle. Yeah, it is. Huh, they may have added it. So that might be something to look into is, you know, putting a little banner here and making them at least look branded. Either banner or logo or something. Yeah. Viz me. I actually just wrote an article about Viz me on LinkedIn. If y'all are not following me and Scott here on LinkedIn, you should. I'll even go there real quick so you know you get the right one. I'm Jenna Apgar, Jenna spelled with one N. There's my shining face. That's how you know you got it right. 
Yay. And Scott Schilling. Yeah. It'd be funny if I went over here and we weren't even connected. What? So there's Scott looking really tan. That's all right. Um, let's see. I'm going to create. I'm having issues creating new. I still have to deal with that. Whatever. You'll have to. You'll have to use an existing and add on. I'm whatever. Now here's our little red dude. We created. <laughs> we started creating. All right. I'm just so gonna... funny. You get so frustrated by that. <sighs> it's not funny. Um, funny, but it's kind of funny. It's it's something. It is something. Remove background. Oh, there we go. Let's make it white so that we kind of blend in. All right, and then we'll do some shapes. Cause I, I like how he broke the line there. That is, that is pretty cool. Um, which one would be a good line breaker? We'll just use this one. Why not? Oh, you know, I should probably check my canvas size, huh? That would be a novel concept. We were making that other one all little headers. Uh, email header. Perfect. Um, but um, bum, and we're gonna make this more palettes. Look at Business Growth Network. Dark purple or blue? What do the Air Force well, blue? Yeah. Were you gonna say something about the color? Uh, I would just stay consistent in branding. Well, all of them are a color, so all of it is consistent. I know, um, but I, it's... I tend to, like, lean more to the blue because I feel like the purple can get a little bit too um, girly. Since I'm a girl, I don't want everyone thinking hey, it's just the girls. Purple and gold are my color. I know they are, and it works so for you. So what are you saying? Are you but you're saying? a guy doing it. If I'm a girl that. doing it, I feel like they think I'm only selling to women. Really? I've never heard that with purple. That's interesting. Because you're a guy doing it, though. Okay. I get it. Fine. Everything is looked through a different lens because I'm a woman. Gotcha. We've got our snazzy little logo. Ooh, I like that too, because the key. Oh, like the key balanced right on the line. Right on the line. That was Look a great accident that. there. Boom. Look how cool that is. Um, and then let's go back. How did his look again? Just had block and warrior book. Or warrior. I thought it had something to the right. I went the wrong direction. Maybe I'm not That's thinking the of the one. right one. Oh, it had this little gray to even further accent. Um, we'll try. I'm just going to actually copy paste this. Um, so let's make it smaller. For no other reasons, I can see what's going on here. Yeah, no kidding. Too deep, too deep, too deep. Up, up. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to change the color and then we can decide I, what's too deep. Gray. Um, and then I was actually going to say range moves to send it back. And then also, I want to make the effect so that I change the opacity. That's kind of cool. Let's maybe even twirl it around. Oops, don't move that. Make sure I have the right text box. Kind of just, actually I want to move that over there and frame it a little bit. Now the only thing, his did mine, I don't, I can't necessarily do in this particular program. And it almost looks like the key is shining like a light or something. I like that. Yeah. 
David would love that even more. Okay, so we have like some, I wish I could gradient it. He can't, um, his is gradient. Grady has a gradient. Gradiented. Right here, it's getting white. It's fading out on one side. Speaking of selling things, I got an email from Ryan Dye selling something for seven bucks. Um, okay. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think I have the capability of doing that inside of VisMe specifically. I would have to give that over to Design Pickle or my guys or jump into Photoshop to do that. I can animate it, oddly enough, from here. That's bizarre. <laughs> I can do a lot of things. Just not, just <laughs> yeah, not what you want to do. Download, and we'll just download a JPEG because it's smaller. We want it to make it work. And so let's see if this image works in Kyvio. URL, upload, not screenshot, I want my downloads. Do, 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 do. Image source URL is missing. I did choose a file. Send it to the server. Upload successful. So it's basically putting the URL in there. We're going to go ahead and center it. And it's all tiny compared to. So let's maybe left to justify it. And my words are on top. What? This is where I'm like, yeah, email's not Kyvia's thing. Well, but this is simply a, a image placement. Um, right? This is one of those I might want to send to myself first. Receipt from, uh, let's go back to here. It's good look. I mean, it, <clears throat> it makes for a good look that way, though. Center this and see where this ends up in the center of the page. Why did that end up in the center of the page? Do you have the um, image centered? No, it's left justified because when I center it, let's just center everything. Now it's centered. Now I feel like the words look weird. Mm, I don't think so. Think Thank you for your payment. You may find your order below. Yep. <clears throat> receipt, and it has a receipt number. I mean everything. Uh, I think that's so interesting. So we can just move things around. Transaction yep. ID. Let's take that. Yep. Um, let me go move this next to it. So right under that one. So this is going to be big and bold. And increase the size. Ooh, not 11. Try 20. There we go. Thank you for your payment. I like the thank you, even if he doesn't use it. Um, Keep going the wrong way. Thank you for your payment. And we'll make this, what did he call it? Invoice receipt number. Amount paid, date paid, payment method.
we have the date. Product access and the amount. If you have any questions, comments, concerns. I think that's it. That's I like the way that that looks and I like the way the business growth network page is coming together. I like it actually centered like that. I think it's a good look. I'm wondering if I can email it to myself. And then the last one is going to be canceling. Transaction cancel date. What else do I call it up here? I don't think I call it. That's the only one that talks about money. Um, can we just copy this to the other ones? Is that easy? Yay. Well, that's cool. I know, right? We're going to brand them, brand them all. Well, but I mean, I think, again, with systems like this, you have the ability to do that. You know, back in the day, it was harder than hell to do everything, right? Harder than hell. I mean, it, it was really, fun. It really was, though. I mean, it was like, ugh. I just remember in fourth grade learning how to code a picture. <laughs> code a picture. Yeah. You would have to tell the program, I want pixel zero one through pixel zero twenty to be the color six seven zero 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 zero. I want this one to be. Well, the good news is we didn't have the opportunity to do that. We just had to sit down and punch a card, type yeah. into type into a uh, keyboard and create a punch card that told it to do that. <laughs> right. See, Randy, not everyone is tech savvy, so if they do not understand precisely how they can and will use it, they will procrastinate. Yes. Yes, they will always procrastinate. And then just one man's opinion. I love Randy. But I am not crazy about the little purple thing in the logo. It seems distracting and without purpose. Fair enough. I kind of want to see what the email as a whole looks like at this point yeah. um, before I go around changing it. I might have I to just go sign up for my site under a new email just to see it. Well, it's again on my screen and partially because be live, it's small. I didn't see that gray piece. Uh, I don't. In the, yeah. in, I mean, you've got it right there, and and you pulled the the uh, screenshot to begin with. I didn't notice it. Uh, it's very subtle, and as you say, it gradiates away. Um, so difference in position. I think that's part. Maybe you know, purple is a deeper color. Uh, it's more of a point as opposed to a trapezoid going with it. It's you know, there's some different des design elements there, uh, which is they either. You know, I mean, now that you called it out, I can see that that gray, you know, because it, the other thing is you blew it up a little bit bigger and made it yeah. a little bit easier. But I'm just saying that. You know, as far as without purpose, the purpose is to look cool. I mean, right. that's the that's really the only purpose is to show some creativity potentially but again let's get back into the four different buying styles and different things one person's hey that's really cool is another person's why'd you spend the time <laughs> that's true right and and both are correct i mean both are correct in within their style um 
you know, it's not right or wrong. It's, it's not one or the other, it's both and. Plus one space. I don't even know my phone number. This is terrible. I usually go to Evernote because it's in the top of all of my notes. Edit, paste it match style. Totally agree with you, Randy. He said you have to have style, but equally as important, consistency of style. Totally agree. I think that's why the branding packages become so important. You know, the branding so, packages. Well, I mean, if you're going to use a logo, use the same logo. If you're going oh, to I agree. Color, I mean, if you're going to use a color combina combination, use the same color combination. I mean, it's it's interesting because my uh, Scott Schilling logo is two S's that come together, opposing each other as a heart. Because it's really selling it's heart centered selling it's um and it's bringing heart into business so and one's purple and one's gold but it this little and it's in a diamond okay wait that's this right here <laughs> now that i look at it but now that you look at it well no i just saw it on the screen um bye randy bye randy but what's interesting is I actually kind of like that block, right? Mm -hmm. Thinking about putting the diamond in the middle, taking purple at the top and maybe gold at the bottom and maybe not full blown, um, you know, heavy purple, Ooh. right? Saturated purple, but kind of make it the bar of half purple, half gold you know top half or top <laughs> this way and this way right mm -hmm. i think it's actually you know with that angle something i had never thought of until i saw that that's kind of cool so that receipt might actually be from stripe huh that's a possibility because it says stripe right there and when you send emails, it has to have your address at the bottom. This says Stripe. So that was probably that. Um, I still like replicating it in here to kind of like mimic what's going on. I'm going to have to go now look at my Stripe account to see, you know, what's going well, on over there. That would actually, you know, quite frankly, building in Stripe or having the um, capability to build in Stripe or having a session on how to build in Stripe would be really helpful. Because there's it's a it's a great program, but not intuitive on how to put stuff together. In Stripe? Oh heck no. In fact, it's still one of the easiest ones and still not no, but it's it's merchant. All merchants are that way. Well, very it, possible. It, it, it doesn't. It's, uh, it's so customizable. It's complicated because it has to be. Like, I, I feel bad saying that, but Stripe is one of the easiest ones out there. No, I, in I totally some ways, agree. And it is still so complicated. I totally agree. I mean, but it just like. Golly. That's all I was saying. There's another idea. Yeah, here's all the same information. Uh, legal business name, website, let's do email. I haven't done this in a while. Inside a stripe? Yeah. I see like this stuff is wrong. So I did want to save that, but I was looking branding. 
Oh my God, there it is. It is a Stripe email. Look at that. There's that same drop down trapezoid, as you call it. Receipt from and the receipt. Amount, it's the exact same thing. Wow. Uh, so, where, it. where'd you find I that? Inside of Stripe? Inside of Stripe, under branding in the business settings. Um, use logo instead of icon. Can I do that? It's not letting me click. Um, so up here I can change. Oh, there's my logo. Uh, let's see if I have it in here. I have it in my documents to keep. Let's see. Another I've got worker marketing find. stuff. Another valuable find. I know. There it is. Let's put a logo in there. Icon versus logo. And then accent color. Let me go pull up Evernote where I've got that stuff hiding. Um, we'll do the, um, I think we were doing Air Force Blue. Yeah, we do the Air Force Blue. There we go. Now it's Air Force Blue with the logo. Why can't I put? I put the icon. Logo is an icon. Boom. It's in the center now. Yay. Very cool. This makes me happy. Now I have to do it for my agency. I can't believe I've been missing that this entire time in Stripe. Blown away. There you go. On DoubleFunnel.tv, not just making you happier and building your stuff, building my own. <laughs> well, that's, I want to do that too. I know, right? Like I said, so when you go to Stripe and you're on your dashboard, you're looking at the menu on the left. If you'll go over here to your business settings and then skip down over here to branding. God, I swear I've looked at looked for that and I have never seen that. Well, you know, for the longest time we were using SAM card. And so a lot of our stuff is still over on SAM card. And SAM card did all the transactions. So I worried about what those emails look like. But now that we're over here on Stripe, damn. Now I feel so much cooler. That was awesome. Fixed that problem. Now I kind of want to go, like, buy something for myself so I can get the receipt and then copy the image and replicate it over the Kyvia one so they're all consistent. Yeah, that's the idea. But add your, your icon and your logo for I just use the same one for right now. In fact, I would actually put the logo where the icon is, but it depends on if your logo has all the words in it, then make that, just put it on your logo and then take the just the pretty picture and use it as your icon. Um, too, too cool. All right, we will wrap it up here on that really cool note that I am so incredibly happy about. Um, I agree. That was, that was nifty. That's, that was worth the whole cool, hour right there. Yeah, that's a cool find right there. It really is. It really is. Um, but I hope, and we didn't even get into active campaign sequencing emails. We just covered transactional emails, and I'm kind of feeling like completely okay with that. Because they are really important. And like even over here, if we go back to these membership ones, these emails are the most, they have the most high open rates. And right now, they don't do anything else besides give information. Like there's no additional branding in here. There's no additional offer in here. There's no thing, nothing in here telling them to go join the Facebook group. There's nothing telling them about Double Funnel TV or this or that. So even coming back in here <coughs> and adding, you know, just the information, like um, if you're a member, like these welcome emails, hey, here's your access to your membership area, and then having like steps um, to um, to get the most out of your membership experience, ensure that you um, complete your onboarding checklist. Number one, join the Facebook group. Number two, whitelist their emails. Just something really simple because people are going to open this email and they might even save it for a long time. 
So leverage these transactional emails because people actually open them. Does that make sense? Yep. As I look at like a screen and nobody else can see it because I've made us big and taken the screen off. All right, oh, Scott is lost. Is that the a new trick? He, he showed me a new gone. trick, and I'm, I am he so no, I'm very excited about it. Actually, I understand. If I could All show right. you my screen, I'd show you the new trick. But no, a new trick. I'll just have to send uh, it to you. You'll send it to me. Okay, so okay, um, if you'd like us to work on your funnel or to build a template for you? Definitely go over there to Double Funnel TV and apply. Um, I'm going to be spending the, this weekend going through all the different people um, to see. And the only requirement is you must have Kyvio. You must be a member of Business Growth Network. Again, it is only $17 a month. Kyvio right now is only $29, I believe, or $26 a month. Um, and let's get you started and walk you through and spend a week with you showing you how to build it, what to build, and how to drive traffic and even sell it. Um, yes. What are you talking about this week? Uh, you talking Friday, I mean? Is yeah. That, I don't know. What should we talk about? The, um, wait, wait, wait. Hold. I had oh. a whole list. <laughs> Hold, please. Well, I had a whole list of, I don't know where my list went, of topics. Or you could go over to the FemBot Army and ask. Yeah, why don't, why don't we do questions and answers I mean I, I it's always fun to answer the questions that people actually have it's far more you know it, as an example like this training I'm doing down in Houston it's they said here's what would help our group I said perfect then that's what will be delivered so that kind of thing is always so much better if possible right I so. understand so yeah, go to Fembot Army and and ask a question. We've still got a day. We can look at things from today and tomorrow and and take a look that way, or we'll announce it tomorrow what we're going to do. How's that? Sounds good. All right. All right. Cool. Well, bye, everybody, and um, head over to Double Funnel TV, and we'll work on yours next week. Bye, guys. Yep, that's right. Bye.